Hi, my name is Charles and I'm one of the maths teachers from the Maxim Workshop. I'm just going to now teach you how to do some maths. Hi, in this video I'm going to teach you how to do pre-algebra. Now, the basic basis of algebra is association and then assigning. So, the first thing we want to do is associate um, particular objects that have similarities and then we'll look at the convenience of assigning um, values to them or variables. So, um, just imagine if in a particular school we found that um, we had five people with the name John Smith. And we also found that we had nine people with the name Tim Matthews. And then we found that we had four people with the name um, Sam Peters. Now, this has already shown us that um, we've associated particular um, individuals by similarities that they share within their names. Now the next thing would be to assign a particular thing that allows us to shorten these similarities so it's easier for us to relate to them time and time again. Now a classic example of when you would do that is just when you would say um, call your friend by a shortening name that he has. So to give him a nickname pretty much. So that's pretty much what we're going to do with these names, just shorten them. And the easiest thing to do when doing that is just shorten them to their initials. So, we've got JS, we've got TM, and we've got SM. Now, the convenience that we have now, when we want to relate to um, John Smith, we can just say JS. Okay, so I'll just rub this out and bring them together. JS. And when we want to relate to Tim Matthews, we can just relate, call him by TM. And when we want to relate to Sam Peters, or all the Sam Peters, we say SP. Now, this is, first of all, we've shown how to associate and now assign um, particular um, shortened versions of their names to um, these um, symbols here. It's the same principle in um, algebra. What we want to do is get a particular thing that varies. So obviously with the names here, the individuals that had that name are the variables. How many of them is the measurement that we will take. So, um, if you looked at rainfall um, over the course of months, you might just call rainfall RF, okay? And this becomes a lot more easier to use in maths. You don't want to always be writing at two times rainfall all the time and just imagine in one of those um, papers where you have um, you see um, a certain um, question being answered and you see a whole sheet being um, used to derive a possible answer you don't want to have to see this all the time so we make the shorten of this and it becomes 2 times RF now the one that you're going to be commonly use, using most of the time is X okay so X is a good term for the unknown so when you want to relate to say the individual the individual people's heights within your class you might say height is equal to X um, weight 
which is another variable, might be equal to W. And if you're studying something like, say, physics or um, chemistry, and even, say, biology, when you want to know the time that it takes for a chemical reaction to take place, or the time that it takes for an athlete to run a certain distance, you might use the idea of small t for time. Obviously, these would have um, units of meters or centimeters and this would have units of seconds and that's basically how to do pre-algebra 